Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to talk about atomic manipulation with STM. So in a previous video, which I'll put a link to just above myself, I talked about atomic imaging with STM. STM, as we said in that video, was invented in the early 80s and then in 1989 a group at IBM did the first atomic manipulation using an STM and this was the first time that people have been able to lift up an individual atom and then precisely place it somewhere else. And what they did was pick up xeon atoms and place it on a surface of nickel to and spell out the IBM logo or acronym yeah, with 35 separate atoms. So to be able to do this, they had to do it in very low te temperatures because atoms tend to move around on surfaces if they're not bonded on securely. And heat is one of the main sources of energy for those atoms. So the hotter it is, the more that likely they are to move around. So they had to do these down at very low temperatures, close to absolute zero, so around four Kelvin, which is around 200 and, or minus 269 Celsius. So the question is, how did they manage to do this with STM? So what they did is they put down their xeon atoms on a surface, scanned over them using STM, using what I said in the previous video, to be able to image where the atoms were, and then placed the tip over one of those atoms, brought it in very close, and applied quite a large bias or voltage to that tip. And what that did was attract the xeon atom up and attached it to the end of the tip. What they could do then is move the tip to where they wanted the atom to do, reverse the bias, which then pushed the atom off the tip and left it on the surface. And they managed to do this with all 35 atoms and form the IBM logo. Of course, what happens over time is those atoms then dispersed because even down at 4 Kelvin, there is still some energy. So after a week, those atoms had dissipated and moved around. In 2013, another group from IBM to celebrate that uh, work produced a video which went up on YouTube, and I'll put a link down here below, which is called A Boy and His Atoms. And they use more atoms to actually form the shape of a boy with a atom acting as a ball and then put together a little animation. So they manipulated all the atoms to be able to form effectively a cartoon and put it together in the video which you'll see in the link below. But the, these are almost the gimmicky side of nanotechnology but they do have a really important use in actually understanding science because you can now start doing atomic manipulations what you can then do is start building rudimentary structures and look at how atoms interact with each other on an individual basis and looking at how the electric fields around them started to develop. So this is where this work has become really useful for science. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon.